Hey guys, I'm Jonathan Occasion, and today, more Zardina Gathering Campaign. I actually want to start the episode uh, with a thank you. Actually, with a thank you. Um, I mentioned a couple of episodes ago at the end, because I didn't want to sound like I was, you know, being a... I, I can't think of a, a word that isn't going to get this demonetized. But anyway, a um, uh, uh, little, little money-grubbing so-and-so. Um, but basically, I've got a tax bill coming up, and uh, I mentioned that, and a lot of people... Uh, have donated, so thank you so much for the people who sent me, you know, a few quid here and there. Some of you were even more generous than that, so thank you so much. Um, every little bit really helps a huge amount, because, yeah, I basically subsist with this channel. This channel lets me subsist, but as soon as I get a bill for something, oh my god, <laughs> it's, it's pretty dire. So, um, yeah, if anyone still fancies being uh, generous, a couple of quid makes uh, the world of difference, because, you know, there's a lot of you, and it I'm sure will eventually uh, add up quite a bit, but I am appreciative of all of you guys, um, especially people who have been supporting me on Patreon for ages. Love you guys. I don't thank you guys enough, but I also don't really like going on about it and putting people on the spot, and I'm sure a lot of people are already skipping this part of the video, so it's kind of hard to know when to express that, but um, I feel like we're far enough into the series that the people here are invested enough to put up with my shenanigans, like thanking people. So, you know, but we're going to get on with things. I don't want to um, dilly-dally too much. Though, uh, that's sort of on brand for me, isn't it? Dilly-dallying. So let's, let's dilly-dally with the purpose of achieving something campaign-related. But uh, again, thank you. Oh, also, um, yeah, I did mention... Um, I know, I've gone, I've gone back. I've taken a back step. I'm sorry. I mentioned PayPal as um, the, the best way... Uh, well, the only way to donate. But there is Patreon, and you can... Um, leave a super thanks is it like super chat but for videos i don't know you can do that stuff as well but paypal takes the smallest cut so um the money stretches further which is why i mentioned that but you know whatever you're comfortable with if if um i mentioned paypal and you got put off by that if you're comfortable with patreon it still helps like regardless so um again thank you to everybody who has helped in the past. So the Banner of Prague gives immune to psychology. I think that's a bit pointless. We get that 30 seconds of Unbreakable anyway. Though I guess you can get terrified before you break, so I actually get terrified before Unbreakable. Hmm. Interesting. Um, anyway, uh... Vanguard deployment? For someone might be pretty nice. I do like the 20% extra speed charge bonus stuff is really good too. Devotion gained from fighting chaos. That's faction wide. So I can actually give that to anybody. So she doesn't need to have that one. I can give that to somebody else. Um, I'm not sure veteran warrior is particularly useful, though I guess it will be as soon as we start recruiting again. We're not fighting Slanesh anymore, though minus two corruption is still useful. So I think we're going to get vanguard deployment on somebody. Uh, that's a bit rubbish. Don't really care about the leadership. All right, that's all fine. So, enchanted item. Uh, we can get an enchanted item. That's what I should do with her. That's what I should do with her. We have a quest battle. I should do that quest battle. While well, she's not got much else going on. Let's also get Mentor. That's going to be incredibly powerful for us. While we have people loitering. And the Golden Knight. Let's see. Let's give you... Extra hit points and armor would be good. Uh, what was Kiss Love Unite again? I always forget. Yep, more damage, the more killy. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go bonus versus infantry charge bonus. I feel like she's just going to be our frontline fighter, for the most part. Uh, also, let's start getting a garrison on this. We are going to build garrisons everywhere we can. Uh, so Felman Ingersen is going to take a couple turns to get to us. And after doing a quest battle... We don't have the best army here, but frankly, our, just our heroes should be able to handle this pretty well. Um, so... After doing a quest battle, oh, there it is, uh, we do get a big bonus to replenishment. So I'm pretty comfortable that we're going to have enough to be able to deal with whoever else uh, shows up. So this this used to be bugged for me, this quest battle. It used to be that, because uh, it starts in sort of like, a, you're getting ambushed. I know, spoilers. Um, but you're in a column, and it kept, every time I'd give orders in battle, it would reset the orders to them moving in that column again. And so it made it almost impossible. It was a nightmare. Very funny, but um, awful. But I think they fixed that. I'm pretty sure that's fixed. But we'll get the Crystal Cloak, which is very powerful. Damage resistance every time we cast. 
Every time we cast a spell, for 31 seconds afterwards, we're getting 20% damage resistance. We're easily casting a spell every 30 seconds with Zardi to Katarin. So, we're basically getting an extra 30% ward save from this item. It's really impressive. An extra armor and melee defense. It's just, it's just incredible. Really good item. So, let's go do it. And it's an ambush. Oh no, we've been ambushed by... It, goggle tracks or something. I don't know, they always have silly names, don't they? So, uh, I guess we're fighting it. We should equip Vanguard. That does nothing um, at this point. Who would we want to give Vanguard to? The thing is, I'm sort of setting up for later where we have more cavalry and things. Um, so I'm not sure who should have Vanguard, really. Unless we gave it to the Golden Knight. She could jump out of a tree and go boo. Now it seems a bit pointless. Um, Ice Guard. Sure, why the hell not? I don't know. Just, uh, none of it needs it, but I, I like having that banner for when we will need it, so let's go. Control the game now, please. I don't like all the being killed. Don't like that one bit. Alright, we're just sort of um Tell you want to attack, however. Alright, let's go get those flamers. Uh you can go kill them. Uh I set that up. Hopefully they'll just sit tight. Uh, don't like how you're getting attacked like that. That's that's bad. I, I don't like that. Okay, let's let's go with one of these. All right, how are you not doing? Yeah, you're doing all right. She's doing fine. Sort of. All right, how are you doing? You're absolutely fine. Okay, let's hit these guys. Let's get a battle cat. Alright, let's bring you guys back down this way. You're having fun. Alright, go kill them, maybe? Oh, they got a big boy over there. Scary lad. Big old scary lad. Alright, so... Uh, we don't have much magic right now. Use the Wand of Jet to get more. I know it's a pain, but it is what it is. But uh, I want to hit these Chaos Knights of Zinch with something scary. Alright, you get him. You guys, doing great. Let's bring you lot over here. Alright, yeah, we, we got this covered. We got this covered. Um, you know what? I would love to get a, uh, a Hailstorm or something over here. Oh, everything's dying. Oh, okay, I think we won already. Yeah, I think we won already. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I feel like we've defeated the Soul Grinder with some militia, which is rather impressive. Alright, Golden Knight can run off and fight them. And... Oh, I don't know, hit there, I suppose? Alright, battle cat. God, look at it zipping around. I'm aware of the time. Whee! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, it was fun. I really like a new sled. It's a good sled. It's a good sled. And Doom Knights shattered. Oh, well, there we go. That was pretty straightforward. Well done, guys. Well done. Yeah, keep keep stabbing them. Go on, keep stabbing them. Zarina, it's time to zip around. Come get these guys. Get them with a Death Frost. Hee hee hee. Oh, killed their lord. That's good news. Their uh, soul grinder is whittling away. And there we go. Death Frost is just slowly freezing them to death as they try and run. Nice. Oh, and here she comes in for the last kill. Amazing. I really do enjoy this sled. It's very fun. 
I'm amazed that it's uh, pulled by horses, though. You know, because they're not bears, which is obviously quite surprising. Um, but also, I, I don't... I, I'd expect, like, spectral ice horses. You know? Something like that. Because they sort of go at insane speeds. Like, faster than any other steed. So you'd expect there to be some sort of magical vibe to them. I guess they do have icy, cold blue eyes. So maybe maybe they do have uh, ice running through their veins. I don't know. No, just more 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 icy. I don't know. More more obviously magical would be cool. Okay, good stuff. Uh so we could get a load of money. I like money. Uh let's get sacrifice captives. Let's get Oh, I don't know. I can't want devotion. I've been on a bit of a, a devotion bender lately. Let's go with devotion. Oh, we also met some people. Oh, hello. Hi. Good plan. We just met Boris. Hello, Boris. <laughs> hello, Papa. I see you're you're in hell again. Um, kind of a fun way to discover your dad's still alive and just running around the you know in well not quite hell but certainly the border to it. Oh yeah. Okay. And um, when we ran home. So we got the crystal cloak. Uh, we have the crystal cloak. Made of the Khan queens in ages past, this swirling mist of ice and crystal surrounds the Zardina, protecting her from harm. Sure do. Uh, so... Oh, no, that's armor, of course. I was thinking it was an enchanted item piece, because... I mean, it's just a cloak, right? Not the armor itself. You can wear a cloak over armor, so it feels like that would be more of an enchanted item. You know, going by, like, I don't know, D&D &D rules, right? Uh, which means that we have space for an enchanted item. Uh, potion of healing would be pretty good. What's snowflake pendant? Puts miscast chance way down. It also blows up power recharge rate. Ooh. -hoo. Oh, I like that. All right, snowflake pendant it is. That was the wrong kind of item, wasn't it? That was one of those. I could have sworn I saw it having one of these pictures. No, so, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, potion of healing then? Potion of healing. What did I get rid of for that? Oh, she had the, uh... Is this scroll of power? Oh no, it's the item that... Yeah, that reduces cooldowns. Wand of Jet. It's Wand of Jet she had. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, and then... Blood of the Motherland, Expert Charge Defense, and Melee Defense for nearby stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I do like that one. It's a good talisman. We do actually have just a bunch of stuff now. Oh, the brass cleaver's actually really nice. I do enjoy that. Let's get rid of these ones. I wish there's like an auto fuse for just cheap crap. You know? This feels a bit pointless. Having to go through all that hassle. Uh, we have an absurd amount of snowflake pendants, which aren't very good, but I'm tempted to see what else we can get. Worm spike. Now that's what I'm talking about. Melee defense, melee attack plus 10. Enables frostbite attacks, melee defense plus 10, and bonus versus large plus 10. That's all really good. Uh, the Manus of Orson puts up damage and stuff. I think Worm Spike is better for you. I think that makes her a contender, you know? Makes her a contender. You've already got a fancy weapon, so you don't need it. You also need some ancillaries. Priest of Tal. There we go. More devotion faction wide. Um, construction time down, probably not great for her. Uh, a servant, sure, just because we can. Alright, vodka distiller, sure. Um, I mean, that's about all you can have, really. But let's see. Uh, Crown of Command, I just dislike, I never use them. Mace of Hellstorm. Uh, that's unusual that we can equip that, but then I guess it almost makes sense, sort of. Because Kislev was part of the Empire roster back in the day. Um, and so it does have access to a lot of the Empire weapons, but the idea of having the first Grand Theogenist's weapon in Kislev is kind of interesting. So used by Johann Hellstrom, the first Grand Theogenist, when wielded by a warrior whose devotion is beyond reproach, the head of the mace glows so brightly it bursts into flame, which gives uh, flaming attacks and base weapon damage for 60%. Also magical attacks. Magical flaming attacks and stuff. That's cool. I like that. Let's give that to this patriarch. 
because he sort of has a mace, kind of. So, you know, feels feels appropriate for him. You serve me well, I know, it's way better than he should have, really, but... Ice Queen. You know, whatever. All right, well, that's good. I'm bored of playing with items now. Let's give you... Yeah, so I want to get standing ground, so let's get Rally. We always and then we can do... It's not Ursin's favourite, is it? Oh, is it Skirmisher Traditions? Yes, that does Ice Guard as well, as well as our uh, cheapest units. That's really good. I like that. Just all our infantry are here. So the extra melee attack, ammo and ammo resi uh, missile resistance for our Ice Guard is going to be really nice. We really need to get more of those Ice Guard for our Ice Guard, don't we? So yeah, got a bunch of nonsense. Love nonsense. Good. Um, okay. Let's give you some levels as well. Uh, go boost income, because it's right there. I do it for Kislev. Um, let me do it for Kislev. Golden Wall. Good. All right, get back indoors. So yeah, one turn will be full health again, and that extra. No, get off. Where is it? I can't see the effect. Oh, it's for everybody. Oh, well, okay. All armies. I didn't realize it for all armies. So it's for a couple of turns. So our other armies are going to benefit from that, too. All right, let's get you headed to Strag. Uh, Zoyshank, we should probably upgrade for Stragov. We should upgrade. That can't be upgraded yet. That can't be upgraded yet. But we can upgrade the big, big, big awesome buildings. Uh, so cheaper Ice Guard units. Uh, leadership. Up when under siege for all armies in the region. So just, just here, basically. Grants more devotion, but mostly it lets us recruit more, uh, well, Ice Guard, just at all. So that's good news. Uh, I also want to get this, but I guess we'll wait a turn. You know, developing some other regions is useful too. I do want to get some Winged Lancers somewhere at some point. I think actually that would be a nice one for, um, for Oleg. That would be a nice one. Although, we are kind of going with a bit of a weirder army. These two, I'm going to swap for winged lancers. These lot, we're going to swap for Akshina ambushers. And then the remaining space is going to be Strelzy. Except maybe we'll get a Frostworm in there too, because, you know, he's right there. So that sounds good. Though now I'm thinking we need to cancel the building of something. So I have a bit of extra cash. You know, I'll build that, I'll get rid of that. Paul Straggle is right on the border though, isn't it? So I guess I probably should make sure that is built. Now that I think about it. Defender of I keep not having the money to build the things Only that the I need. Alright, look, we're going to get rid of these guys anyway, so let's get My rid of them. And then. Alright, this is probably a terrible idea. This has probably put our strength rank low enough that all of our enemies, or, you know, people who hate us, are going to become our enemies. They're going to go, ooh, great. It's time to party. Um, but anyway, our income's nice and high. Next turn, we should be golden. Probably. We should probably be golden. <laughs> we'll see. So it's not going to take long to recruit that stuff. And, like, it's a war that we haven't started yet, so it doesn't matter. Our common cause shall benefit the world. Hello. Boris Papa. Papa Ursus. Papa Bear. Oh my god, we're calling him Papa Bear. Hey, Papa Bear. Yes, I'll trade with you, Papa Bear. Why did you leave me, Papa Bear? I was oh so worried. Oh, there we go. Good old Papa Bear. We should probably go help him at some point. Oh, no, get out of here. You're not war with them, are you? Oh, no, I'm not going to fight you in order to fight them, am I? You remember how eight seconds ago I was saying, Oh, isn't it great how, you know, we, we don't have to rush because it's a war that we haven't even started yet. We can take all the time in the world. And then a big tree ruins our plans. Aren't I always saying that? How trees ruin everything. Let's let's pave paradise. That's what I always say. Let's put up a parking lot. Uh, so, toughened stanchions. The added downfalls provided by these upright uh, wooden bracings makes for much sturdier sleds, which are far less likely to overturn during swift maneuvers on the ice. That's an extra 15 armor. Did we get it? No, we didn't, or did we? No, we were up. Wait, hang on, we're we on 150 with Zarina Catherine. It's gone down. It's like 150, that's easy to remember. And now it's gone down. What? Is it because 
the crystal cloak replace something that had loads of armor? I think it did. I think it replaced the shield of sacrifice. But that extra 15 should have put it back up to 150. And slightly higher, actually, because the cloak gives us some armor anyway, right? No. Yes. Six. So, okay, I don't think that technology did it early in the gathering, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's go kill this man. Should I go kill this man? I feel like he should be killed, dude. Although, it also feels like we can't quite reach there, but we can. What's this line doing? I don't know what this line is. Is that one region into another, maybe? Perhaps. Hello. Um... I suppose I should fight this, because it's a load of mammoths, and I think that's going to be really fun. Because who doesn't want to fight a load of mammoths? So, it's not very icy on this island in the Sea of Claws. It's very empire-y. Do you think they made landfall on the empire? Yeah, we're in Nordland now. Although, the fact that there's um, no ocean for miles... Do you think this is the Sea of Claws? <laughs> Just this little baby, little baby sea of claws. Yeah, that you, you don't realise it, but this is Norska up here. Yeah, uh, see that? That is um, Salzenmund. Yeah, that's that's Nordland's greater city. All right, shall I fight the baddies now? Yeah, right. I suppose I can fight the baddies now. <laughs> Since you insist. And Chica Vanguard, of course. She meaning the thousands of women in that army. In that unit. 80. Alright, it's not quite thousands. Alright, I've got you guys as well, actually. That's a good point. Let's put you here. And uh, you guys. I'm going to put on the sides. You can deal with the large things, I suppose. Even though, some of the largest things... Oh no, they're right on that side. Okay. Yeah, no, they've really gone for the flanks. The fact the Berserkers are in the middle, where we have all of our armour, this they have positioned themselves perfectly for me to murder them all. So that's good. You know, I'll take it. Uh, and Winged Lancers. Oh yeah, Trolls and Skin Wolves don't have much armour. Which means a nice charge from some Light Cav. Well, you know, Lancers, really. Um, should do the job. I think that'll do. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm definitely going to want to slow them down with the old uh, ice sheet. Don't worry, we're going to win. I also throw some Beetle Cats out there as well. For the motherland. Repositioning. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> That's insane. Absolutely insane. Alright, so wait till they get here. And I'll hit them with the old, uh, the old ice sheet. Which I suppose I'll put, like, right here, so they're in it for the longest amount of time. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, get it a little close now. Okay, done. Alright, let's start playing. Alright, Blizzard. Have fun. Oh, <laughs> wee. Yeah, they're having a bad day. But, you know, good day for me. Ooh, Marauder Champions, huh? Let's hit them too. Uh, well, this is a little scary. Oh, boy. Alright, where are the heroes at? Yeah, this is all a mess. Oh boy. Alright, try and kill the Premier Warriors, I guess. Let's bring you lot out here. You can start chasing them down. Alright. Let's get a Death Frost on that lad. And go attack them. Let's freeze this lot. Start throwing battle cats around. Alright, battle cats everywhere, please. And yeah, let's get the recharge. 
Oh yeah, he's having a terrible day. And I oh, know, slow everyone down. And pull out. Oh, you're having a good time over there. Okay, let's go get him. And the Hawks of Mishka is going to lower their leadership a bunch, which I think is going to work out well for us. Right, let's hit with one of those. You guys keep chasing. And yep, yeah, you're doing great. And yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, that went very well. He's Snowflake Pendant. Let's heal up as well. A better cat. Go, go get your meat. Go on, delicious mammoth. Go on, go get him. Yeah, good kitty. I love better cat. Aw, better cat. And the bear, that's it. she's teaching it how to hunt. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure that was Zarina Catherine's missile. It's a big missile. So anyway, decisive victory. Excellent. So, let's see. Um, I'm going to go with... I have devotion. Alright, can I finish chasing them? It does look like I can finish chasing them. Good. Alright, let's finish them off. And once again, devotion. Brilliant. So, Carl, did you see it? Di oh. Well, that's disappointing. Carl, did you not see what I did? It was really cool. Well, aren't you proud of me? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I wouldn't usually care, but I, I did actually declare war on these guys, in large part, to uh, impress Carl Franz. Oh, I've got student, who's back to research, that's nice. I didn't check to see if that actually equipped on anybody. Probably should. Uh, let's get skirmisher traditions. Oh, and also stand your ground, I guess. It is mine by right. Sure is. Uh, now let's get Gust of True Flight for Why Not. I and... I mean, you could get common ground, common enemies, I suppose. And then Kislev United. Sorry, Kislev United, not United. It's not a football team. But perhaps it should be. Alright, let's upgrade there. Uh, help it, still taking weeks to upgrade, of course. Uh, we can go ahead and get the Temple of Orson 2. Electric Boogaloo. We can level you up. You're level 14 now, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we can make Kossar's Kiss of Light Warriors and Kossavite Dervishes cheaper. That's quite fun. Uh, Ambusher? Uh, that makes Horse Archers better. And I want that. I want that lots. I shall carry it with honor. So yeah, this guy's got bonus versus infantry now. Is it a good bonus versus infantry? Uh, eight? It's not too bad. It's not bad at all. They're very quick. Yeah, very quick. Defender very capable Kislev. units. Uh, could go ahead and queue up a Frostworm. I didn't realise that most of this stuff was still in Global. We really don't have many recruitment options in Kislev, do we? But let's get our Frostworm. Probably better to get, like, on the way back, really. If I'm being completely honest. We're probably going to end up at war with these trees, aren't we? <laughs> probably. They've got bears too. We can't have that. Alright, we're the bear people. Alright, what can you recruit? Uh, yeah, Streltsy. I mean, getting getting Griffin Legion isn't a bad idea. Just skip, you know, skip the um, wing glances completely. Alright, we're doing that. You were going to come over here and recruit too. Which, you know, I guess you sort of will be. Alright, so we're going to get four, I think was the plan. Should queue up these. Should queue up these. It's going to take a couple turns anyway. Let's grab that as well. And then we'll head back and get the... What was the other unit I was going to get? Oh yeah, Axina Ambushes was the other plan. We're going to get Axina Ambushes. And... We're going to get Axina Ambushes and a Frostworm. That means we're going to get three Ambushes. 
which will be basically like our, all of our archer contingent. I feel like we need more archers. I mean, we do have the horse archers, of course. But most of our stuff is direct fire, which means we only really have one line, which isn't great, is it? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll wing it. Want to be thematic. Which, really, the Griffin Legion, I don't think will be that thematic for this army. I think I'm going to say no to the Griffin Legion. So we can stick with the more, um, you know, more woodsman-y things. I think Griffin Legion are way too, like, they are the elite from the cities, you know. Wing Lancers, yeah, still traditionally from the city, but, like, they're out on patrol more. You know, Griffin Legion are, like, the, the real upper crust. They're not thrown into any old... Uh, of the old situation, right? Okay. Uh, Zavastra, we can upgrade. Good. Good, we can actually afford some upgrades and things. It's nice to see. Uh, we should have probably put walls on the Bay of Blades. But then... I don't know. What's going on here? So that's got a big exclamation mark on it, which makes me assume that that's, like, gone. And that's not a thing anymore. I'm assuming. I guess. One land. Right, so you're going to go to the Ultra Crimson Harvest next. We need to do some more research. Uh, Lord Recruit rank would be very useful. Uh, oh, Global Recruit Capacity Plus 2. be nice to be able to just get stuff from anywhere. Ooh. Okay, more Winds of Magic and more ammo for our Ice Guard sounds nice. Not sure we necessarily need that. That does upgrade our Streltsy quite a lot too. Yeah, we'll probably get that as well at some point. I mean, at some point we'll get all of it, right? Now let's see, do we have... Uh, that student equipped. No, we don't. Let's get that student equipped. More technology, please. Alright, then Ellinglad. Probably good to get some more trade goods. But there's all this really cool stuff to upgrade too. Hero and Lord Recruit rank plus two from there. Is that global? It doesn't say if it's global or in the region or what. So I think it must be global. Income from all buildings in the region plus 20%. Yeah, there's some huge stuff. Next turn we've got to take a couple of them off, I think. I think the um, trade goods can wait for now. I think they'll have to. So, moving on. Oh, good. They couldn't be able to take it. I mean, hopefully that'll stick. They just took it. Okay, of course they did. I shouldn't have said anything. Hey, B-dubs. Um, yeah, my dad's called Boris. Um, let's see. Non-aggression pact sounds useful. That might upset some people, though. You know, some people he's at war with. We'll see. Oh, God, we can also upgrade the port. Oh, there's so many good things to upgrade here. Uh, so, I think I'll do... Yeah, I think I might do that one first. Though these two are probably cooler, generally speaking. I mean, the income for all buildings one is like... That feels like a no-brainer. But then I think other than that, I think we do want to go with the construction cost down for ports, faction-wide. Uh, that's kind of fun. And also melee attack at sea faction wide and lower attrition that never really matters that much, honestly, the, the attrition. Because you generally try and stay in places where there is loads of attrition, right? Uh, wow, you can barely move for some reason. What ate all of your movement up? I have no idea. Stuff behaves so weirdly on the borders of areas. Sometimes it goes, oh, you've used up all your movement. All right, sure. Um, okay, we sort of spent everything. You know what, bare blades, I'm going to go for money. Alright, we're just going to do the money building. What are we? Do we actually need to do that? Because that's only getting us 200. Or is this getting some more support from here? It's probably a good idea. Because it is costing us some support. And we do have other buildings here making us money. I think I'm happy enough with just the uh, anchorage doing that. All there. Alright, so once again I spent all my money when I needed to recruit are things as well. Of course I did. Um, so it's here. I have the Akshina, so I guess you're going to move over here now. And yeah, Elena Zakharova is going to have a more traditional army of sort of uh, Kossars and things like that. 
Can't afford any. Can't afford any. I can get some things in the woods, though. Which is kind of fun. And you know what? Oh, it's because I didn't get the two cavalry. Instead of the cavalry, should I just get a couple things in the woods? Because we are in the regiment right now. So, like, a couple more of them. I think they would actually be quite a good cavalry contingent. Because they are quite quick. They are, like, anti-armor and anti-infantry. Which isn't as useful for, like, countering enemy uh, cavalry. But I have loads of guns for that. So... Yeah, I think I might do that. I'll get one queued up. Because I might as well. Yeah, I'll do that. Annoyingly, we <laughs> don't have great recruitment um, capacity here. So it'll take a little while. But we'll get we'll get um, another thing in the woods. And then we'll get four vaccine round bushes. I think that'll be a pretty good Rosina. army. Although, we can also get a, a hag witch. So actually, I think I might get rid of the Frost Maiden, even though she's awesome, and have a Hag Witch there. Even though I'm not sure the Patriarch and the Hag Witch are going to get on particularly well. If anyone's going to get on with the Hag Witch, it would probably be the Frost Maiden, if anybody. Um, yeah, Drugina knows not to question the Hag Witch. But, like, these two, maybe at odds slightly. So I think the Patriarch Stay healthy, is going to run over there. Um... Yeah, do I want to get rid of her too? I think I'm just going to rely on the hags, you know? Just going to rely on the hags. I think that'd be more interesting. I'll get a couple of them. I'll get one of the new ones. You know, the hags of hag, and then I'll get another one. A hag of, I don't know, something else. Uh, a hag of ice cream. Yes, great idea. We'll get an ice cream hag. All right, now you. Bolsterer or Pioneer? Pioneer! I like the idea of research, right? That's nice. A crucial decision is asked of the Ataman. Should valuable resources be used to shore up the province or spent focusing on innovations and research? Under the Ataman's watch, innovation is embraced. Cool. Alright. I like it. I like it a lot. So, we are making progress, kind of, on our armies. Um, so, we may end up going to war with them. Um, Yeah, maybe not. Maybe we just let Dreitcher take out um, as, like, the slaughter and we just head north, deal with Grimgore, Throg, you know? Maybe that's what we do. I just ignore the south. Because, honestly, these guys, yeah, they don't hate me. Like, they don't hate me. And we are trading with them, so, like, they're probably not going to declare war on us. So, maybe we just leave them to it. And if they do cross us, then we'll just, you know, build a giant, a couple of giant armies in a second, and kill them to bits. It'll be easy. We'll get just a huge amount of Cossars, and then we'll give whatever Lord is commanding them a Banner of the Eternal Flame, or a couple of them, and then we can just, like, have everyone with fire attacks, and they can wipe everything out. Just kill all the trees. It'll be great. I shall summon history's greatest blizzard to end you. <laughs> and he's like, um, can we be friends? No. It's blizzard time. Blizzy wizzy, let's get busy. That's right, Tsarina is basically, um, basically Sooty. Sooty was a puppet. For anyone who's unaware of, um, British television lore. Um, yeah, that's fine, I'll just, I'll just have it. <laughs> no fuss. Uh, Warrior Bane. I mean, that's fine. And, oh, hello. We can get some sleds while we're here. I, I do kind of love the idea, actually, of us making sure on, on you know, land like this and being like, ah, producing this is going to be a bit crazy. It's all very cold. And then we're like, I will make sleds from the ice. And then we make sleds and then we all go on a fun little jaunt. I think that's a good idea. I think it's fun. I think it's thematic. And I think that means we're going to get rid of some of these units. Yeah, maybe just a couple of Cossars. Or should we get rid of a couple of these jerks? Do I need to call them jerks? No, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Done. Alright, a couple of sleds. For flavour. Uh, also, light war sleds with the technology. Having 75 armour, that's some pretty good armour. For like a chariot unit, you know? Not bad. Not bad. Um, let's get... 
Guardian's cool. All right, let's do that. A gift from Kislev's great I want my kitties to be big and strong. And you can get income boosting. Magic or something. I don't know how she boosts the income through sheer willpower. So speaking of willpower, do I have the willpower to bother equipping things again? Yes, though I only have the forbidden rod. That'll do. And um, put construction time down. That's about it. Yeah, you can only salvage people. You can't fuse people together. Right, weird, right? Clan Mulder do it all the time. Uh, right, bigger church. Bigger church is more power. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on. We can upgrade Prague. We can, we can spend all of our money again. Again. We really don't have to spend our money quickly. Like, we still need to, like, upgrade stuff in Eningrad and, well, everywhere else. Uh, we're earning a fair bit of money now, still, but... God, our, our overheads just... It's ridiculous. It's not really overheads, it's, it's, we're, it's investment in infrastructure. You know, we're not really subsisting here, we're building stuff. You know, we're building stuff. So... Speaking of subsistence, uh, we're going to end the episode here, which is, uh, again, where I'm going to say, uh, if anyone does want to chip in and cover that tax bill, then um, please do. I appreciate it a huge amount. Uh, and, yeah, I'm really enjoying this campaign. I hope you guys are, too. I really like playing as Gislev. I think they're really fun, just like the amount of, you know, archers and stuff. And they got some fun monsters, they got some cavalry. It's a fun mix. Um, I don't think our armies are diverse enough for me just yet. That's why I'm, I'm really enjoying giving uh, Oleg like a whole new army that's really thematic for him and it's gonna be more um, you know the rural side of Kislev and then we're gonna have some armies that are more like city folk and yeah we'll take the fight to to the trolls and Norskins maybe Grimgore yeah I have um have high hopes I'm enjoying this so anyway guys if you are comment like subscribe I'll see you in the next one take care guys absolute ruler of the motherland